Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly grocery haul. I have still not gone to Costco if you've been watching my channel. Um, things just keep coming up on the day that we were planning to go. And so um, I needed quite a few things because I've been using, trying to use up what we have so that we had space for a Costco run. <laughs> But it's been a little while and we were going to go next week and it dawned on me today while I was out the day that we were going to go next week. We keep wanting to do a Monday because my husband's work schedule is more flexible on Monday. And this last week, he's, he had to meet up with somebody. He's like, we'll do it next week. And then I just realized, I'm like, we can't do it next week because I have a chiropractor appointment and we have company that's coming into town this weekend and then they're leaving on like Monday at some point in the morning. But like, I don't think we're going to have time. So it, it might be April. We might make they make we might make that an April thing. Anyways, so I needed quite a few things. Like I said, we're having company coming this weekend. I got some extra stuff for that specifically, and then also to just have on hand. I don't think we're gonna need everything I got for that. It's just two people um, for just a couple of days. But I wanted things on hand as options. I kind of have a meal plan in mind for while they're here, but I'm not sure what each day is gonna look like. So I bought extra, so I did spend a little bit more this week. Um, but I'm sure that like some of the meat and stuff will end up in the freezer because we're not going to need it all, but I just wanted options. So anyways, I went to Walmart, Aldi, and Lidl. We will start with our Walmart haul. All right, so starting with Walmart, I picked up some bananas because they had them and they looked really good. So I will get them at pretty much anywhere because the price isn't very much, but when I'm going to multiple stores, I buy them at the first place that it looks good and they looked good. I bought... um a pretty big bunch at this time. I bought some lettuce and tomatoes. Um, you'll see there's gonna be more lettuce in another from one of the other stores, but this was pretty small, but I wanted some iceberg. I ended up getting some romaine somewhere else too. Um, I'll let you know my meal plan at the end. Um, we already have some tomatoes. We have some cucumber and we have carrots, um, but I just needed to get a little bit more tomato and some lettuce. I got some taco sauce just to have a backup in the pantry. I bought a couple things of Parmesan. I bought, this is like the thicker stuff. And, and this is more of like the shaker. I bought some creamer. This is for our company. They're going to bring their own coffee. Um, we don't drink coffee. I do buy a co have a coffee pot and I typically buy coffee when we're having company. I just find out what they like, but they were just like, we're just gonna bring our own. So I just told them I would have the creamer that they like on hand. Picked up some whole wheat extra wide egg noodles. We just finished a bag of what I had in the pantry for um, beef stroganoff last week, I think. So I just picked up another one just to keep in the pantry. I picked up some really cheap salt and pepper shakers. Our salt shaker, well, a while ago, um, I tossed it and uh, I just used an old spice jar, which worked great, but it comes out kind of quick. And my husband was like, can we just get a regular salt shaker? Cause this is driving me nuts because <laughs> it comes out too quick. So I was like, I, yeah, I can do that. I picked up some brown paper bags. I wish they came in smaller packages, but they don't. Um, I use these, I think this is a yeah 100 count. I use these to pop popcorn. I just use like oh, by the whole kernels put some coconut oil in, seal up, like roll down the bag and put it in the microwave. And um, I'm, I have one bag left and I've been enjoying popcorn lately. So this will last me for a few years. <laughs> I um, don't have popcorn every day and I don't really use them for anything else, but this is the only size package they had. A couple little toiletry type items. They finally had rose oil, uh, soap. And I like this one for showering. Unfortunately, the cap is broken, but I will just switch out one that I have at home already, like once it's um, empty, because they only had one. I see it's like broken there. It's not gonna be long before that's fully broken. But um, I've been wanting that and I had been out of it. Got some cotton swabs. I am just about out, actually to pull some from our guest bathroom. So I bought one for underneath our sink and then one for backup. And I bought myself some socks because lately it um, seems like all my socks are getting holes in them at once. So I've been throwing out quite a few pair. So I just picked myself up a 10 pack. All right, so next is Lidl. Just a few things at Lidl. I picked up those apples back there. I picked up some bacon. I don't know if we're gonna need that this weekend. I've got other plans for breakfast, but I haven't bought bacon in a while. So I figured I'd buy it and then I have it if I need it. And if we don't use it this weekend, um, with our guests, then I'll throw it in the freezer. I did pick up, sorry, there's like not really a lot of room here. I realize 
I actually have one more bag that I didn't unpack that I just found in my trunk that's not on the counter. But um, anyways, it's a little crowded up here. Um, if you remember a few weeks ago, I bought a lot of cheese because I had a coupon. We are not totally out, but we're, we are running low on a couple kinds. And I just like to always have them on hand. That way I can kind of decide in a moment what I want to do with cheese. So I got three of the New York sharp cheddar and two pepper jack. I also got some more old fashioned oats because I've been having that for breakfast a couple times a week. I picked up some sweet potatoes and two things of strawberries. These were on sale, so I went with the fresh. I do keep frozen in the freezer. Um, I eat fruit salad a lot. If you are new here, I've given up temporarily, hopefully sugar, but I can have fruit. So I eat a lot of fruit. So you're gonna see a lot of fruit in this haul as well. Moving on to Aldi. I picked up six bags of frozen broccoli. We are completely out, um, even in our outside freezer, because like I said, I've been trying to dwindle it down so that we have room for a Costco haul, but I need some food and we still haven't gotten to Costco. So picked up some more frozen blueberries. I finished those last night, actually. I got two dozen eggs. I picked up some more pinko breadcrumbs because I'm running low. I picked up some rice and corn checks. I have been wanting to make um, Chex Mix forever, and um, we keep eating these. So I bought some more packs. I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow. Or more boxes, I should say, not packs. I picked up some penne because we're running low, and I like to keep a variety of pasta on hand. Picked up three cans of tuna for my husband's lunches. Some medium-sized tortillas. Some romaine lettuce to go with the other lettuce I bought because the other head of lettuce was pretty small. And um, I'm wanting this not just for us for salads, but for some things coming up this weekend with guests. And I just wanted to make sure I had plenty on hand, but the iceberg will be good for like some of the things. So anyways, I'll give you the meal plan in a minute. I got some kiwi. I got some sliced cheese because we're probably, I'm going to want to have the option of doing sandwiches. And so I got some sliced cheese and then two, one thing of um, chicken and then two things of ham. And I figure if we don't end up doing sandwiches with our company, these use by dates, if they're not open, is quite a ways out still. So that'll just mean I don't have to buy it, you know, next week, maybe even the week after. I did get a bag of croutons. I picked up some orange juice and some unsweetened vanilla. I wanted an unsweetened original as well, but they were out. But I think we have enough. Our guests also use almond milk, so that works out great. Um, otherwise, I would have picked up some regular milk for them. I picked up some green grapes and some red grapes because they were both on sale. So I got both and some little mandarin oranges. I picked up some sour cream because I go through that quite a bit. Some ricotta cheese. This is really just to keep on hand. I think the use by date was like May. Yeah, just because it's a nice little backup. If, um, sorry, afterwards I was like, was that 20? It expired in 2022, but no, it was May 2nd, 22nd, 2023. Um, just like to keep this on hand, we do these things that we call pizza pockets with like tortillas and stuff inside of them, kind of like a calzone um, or just like big ziti or whatever. I just think it's good to have on hand for a throw together meal. A couple things of cream cheese. I picked up some bread for possibly sandwiches this weekend. If we don't do that, we'll just use it or I'll put it in the freezer. Picked up some pie crust because we're going to do some quiche. And then I picked up, this is definitely more meat than I'm gonna need, um, I would think, but I got two of the chicken breast tenderloins and two of the chicken legs and whatever we don't use, I will freeze. All right, and the final things I found in another bag, two pineapples and then some honey, even though I'm not currently having honey. Um, my husband has been having that on some cereal, like if he does like the rice checks, I think. I'm not totally sure. Um, and another can of refried beans. We still have the one I bought last week, but I just thought when I bought them last week, I was like, oh, I should have bought a couple of cans because I always like to keep a couple extra things on hand. So that's what that's about. So I already remembered something I forgot because it wasn't on my list. Um, and there was a couple of things that they were out of. Aldi was out of avocados. I think they just had sold out of them. And the hard taco shells they were out of. And I meant to pick up some hamburger buns, but maybe there's some in the freezer. I don't know, but I'm gonna tell you the potential meal plan. We're gonna have hamburgers and tater tots tomorrow. Um, we already have ground beef, we have tater tots in the freezer. I just needed the buns. And then the weekend is kind of up in the air with company, but um, 
My thought is for dinner is possibly a taco night and then something maybe like the grilled drumsticks, barbecue drumsticks with sweet potatoes, maybe just cooked in the crock pot, I don't know, and salads, so kind of up in the air. Um, the chicken tenderloins I got were the thoughts of doing grilled chicken salads, either for lunch or dinner one day, maybe twice, I don't know, and then sandwiches for another lunch. I'm gonna make uh, a couple quiches. I'm gonna do a broccoli, cheddar, and ham quiche, and then maybe a cheddar and um, sausage, I'm thinking. I have breakfast sausage in the freezer. So um, I'm thinking of doing quiche and fruit salads for one day, maybe twice is what I'm thinking. And then they're gonna be bringing just some quick breakfast stuff that they like um, for Sunday because we head out really early um, for church and they'll be here for themselves. So I was gonna offer them just leftovers, but they were like, we'll bring some instant oatmeal. So that works for me. And is that everything? That might be everything, breakfast, lunch. And then I don't really know after that. My hope, it, my thoughts is that we will have some chicken and sweet potatoes and salads of all that stuff. Like we won't be using all of it. I just wanted options on hand. So I don't have to go to the store while they're here. They're only here for a couple of days. So I was like, let me just buy a whole bunch of stuff. I've got meals in mind. So it's not like I'll be scrambling for an idea, but um, we'll just kind of, eat the rest for us for next week. I have a feeling next week is gonna be a pretty small grocery haul because I did buy a lot this week. Anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope all of that made sense. And maybe it didn't, but you saw what I bought. So you at least got the grocery haul part. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That is a simple way to help me out. Also, leaving a comment down below, tell me what you're having for the week or your favorite grocery store to shop at or something like that, or just say, hey, or leave an emoji, whatever, that interaction helps me out as well. But I do like the comments because I do enjoy interacting with you guys. But that is it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.